asking people what their biggest fear is. Lord have mercy. You can't just do that. That's a good question. Biggest fear. I don't know, like lizards? Swim with sharks. Him. No, no, no. No, you guys can do it together. No, he's my biggest fear. Oh. <laughs> my biggest fear is heights, but my worst fear is different. It's not being successful. My biggest fear is staying in Toronto. Oh, no. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> As far away from Toronto as I can get. I guess not to live up to your own self-expectation. My greatest fear is finding myself at dinner with Rob Ford some night. I think it would test my discipline and self-restraint. <laughs> my biggest fear is dying alone. Not like romantically alone. Just physically alone. That's deep. Mine's just heights. <laughs> I just can't stare off the edge or something. There's no deepness there. Whether I fell alone or with somebody really wouldn't change the outcome. <laughs> not be able to pay the bills once I'm retired. It's not as easy for retired people anymore. The roaches. I hate roaches. They always fly at your face, not anywhere else. Insects, spiders, centipedes. They crawl too fast, they go missing. That fear of not finding them and getting them lost and then it kind of escalates from there. No, insects don't scare me. Heights don't scare me. Speed doesn't scare me. Uh, just failing in terms of like, you know, career or whatnot. Um, but even then, I'm not really too afraid of it because I know from failure is also another way of learning what doesn't work and moving forward with that. Centipedes, centipedes especially. They're creepy, they're quick. I'm trying they're to think big. of other ones. Now that I'm thinking about that, I'm thinking about peeing in the, peeing in the river and the things that go up to the... What are you talking about? <laughs> Have you ever seen that? No! The, like river monster things, you pee, in the, you pee in the river and they go up to your pee stream in your, in your penis. The pee bug that... <laughs> the pee bug! I can't be. Pea monster. My dad's always been scared of birds, and ever since I've been a kid, he's just always told me that birds were really scary. And I've been petrified of them. My neighbors had them, and they'd let them fly around, and I'd run outside. Did you see that film, Birds? Like, yeah. Did that, did that make it worse? Or yeah, it didn't, didn't help much. They can just move really fast at me, and I don't know, they have pointy claws. My greatest fear? Mm -hmm. Failure. Yeah? Absolutely. I try so hard and people are shutting me down like left, right, and center. If you're going to be scared of failure, you're going to be scared all your life. You're going to fail. Yes. Yeah. Scared of, yeah, right now I'm scared of not falling off that fucking thing. The biggest fear is war. You look at the situation in uh, Syria and look at those kids and they're so innocent and they're being caught up in the war. So that's terrible. Rats. They hate them. <laughs> I get freaked out when it's really, really, really quiet for no reason. I'll actually just start randomly talking to myself just to like break the silence. I just, I don't know, I just can't stand complete and utter silence. It's just weird. Biggest fear? Yeah. Being interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> Having politicians that don't care about higher taxes and prices going up for things. That's my biggest fear. I'm not afraid of dying, but I'm afraid of becoming weak. I guess that's why there's yeah. a certain romance to dying young because people are, go out in these big balls of fire. It's always nice to be remembered as a, as a vibrant young person than having, than like having your children have to clean your diapers. But I guess you can still be mentally strong. Then if you lose that, then you're definitely alone. Oh, we just got dark there. <laughs> what is your biggest fear? I'm really scared of having a house fire and being in the house ever since I was a kid. My biggest fear is mm -hmm. You lose your civil liberties all in a flash. The G20 summit that happened, innocent people were kettled. Death doesn't frighten me. All sorts of things don't frighten me in the least, but being helpless does. 